Ladies and gentlemen, tonight from the SSC Arena, Wembley, we now go to the flyweight division set for three five-minute rounds brought to you tonight by Spike Sports. We introduce the blue corner at five foot four, weighing in 125.2 pounds, his professional record, six wins, just one defeat from Boston. Lincoln Sher England presenting Jamie, the powerhouse Powell. Across the cage is adversary out of the red corner at five foot five, weighing in 125 and one half pounds as a professional. He's undefeated, nine wins, no defeats. Originally from Sweden, now fighting out of London, presenting Amir, the Prince Albazi. In charge of the action, your referee, Big John McCarthy. Really less of a nickname than this simple statement of fact. Let's check out the tail of the tape. And look at the reach advantage of Amir Albazi. But the way they got into it the way, and I don't think either guy's gonna be stepping back. <laughs> Swedes known around the world for their gracious temper. Yeah. Common thing. You know the expression, don't get all Swedish on me? Yeah, see, that's what that means. But Abazi, the nickname Prince, came to the way with a crown on, and Powell snatched it right off his head. They almost got into it right there. So I said, Abazi has a reach advantage, but I think he's going to want to go at Powell a little bit. Both heads have rested uneasy leading up to this one. Aggressive going for full mount very early and he goes back. A smart move. Now Bosley's nine wins, all finishes. The other division where there is opportunity is a band. Yeah, very true. And by the way, with a champion who has been nothing short of Ooh. dominant in his last few fights. Triangle. Hard to finish from here, but you can do it. How? Got to angle your hips. He's a little too straight on to do it. He wants to angle his hips out to the side a little bit more. You notice when uh, Liam McGeary gets that position, he's almost always off to the side a little bit, twisted with his body. Right now, a little too, a little too, 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 too straight in north south. Maybe the best way to put it. You can free that right arm. I'm going back to the triangle over and over again. As dominant and as Wardo Dantas has been. And he's got the swagger. He's got the whole thing. Yeah. He needs that Darian Caldwell fight, in my view, to be viewed as what he is. The problem is the last couple of challengers, you know, in Galvan and Warren, those guys had a lot of miles on them. We'd seen what they could do. He knew what they could do. Darren Polo is still very much that X factor. Incredibly physically gifted. It's going to be a great fight. That's ahead of us. Patricio Pitbull and Daniel Weichel's rematch is ahead of us. I like that. Not letting your opponent get full guard. Not letting him rest. Not letting him relax. Always pushing that pass. Making him work. Because if you make him play defense. Yep, and I'm thinking about their offense. Albazi so far doing a great job with the passes. I like his balance. I like his speed and timing so far. Powell's been on the defensive throughout this fight.
far been a step ahead of Powell. Powell finally getting his chance on top. Let's see what he can do with it. Use the fence, you can't stick your toes in it. But you can use it as if it were a wall. As he briefly went southpaw. Oh, Jimmy Smith famously asked the Mohegan Sun last year, can we get a second round tonight? <laughs> do. Round one to Albazi. 10-9 Albazi. Excellent stuff on the ground. Pass guard several times. Powell had his moment at the end, but not enough to swing the round. Really loves to switch stances too. I think if you're Powell, you learned your lesson. You want this fight on the feet. If you're on the ground, you got to be on top. Or if you're ground and pound, you don't want a jiu-jitsu battle with this guy. So far, he's looked slick. Back fist. Easy. You know, you see, it's not even hard to see it now. He's, he's two or three steps ahead. Very confident. Good timing on that takedown. The one sign is how hard you make a guy work for the takedown. Now, it's an arm bar difficulty here. If you can get that arm and stretch it back, he doesn't go for it. A little bit of a tough finish. Creative one, he can go for it. You know, see Powell on defense, moving north-south, like trying to isolate the arm. Arm of Powell, now he lets it go. Switches sides here. Usually you switch sides like that from north-south to second control, and you're looking to isolate one arm or the other. He just transitioned to the other side. North-south, without the knees, hard to use in MMA. Back in the pride days, man, they would get north-south and just knee your head right through your the rest of your body. Mark Coleman, Igor Vilchanchin for the old school fans. Wild West. Of yeah. Oklahoma. And a lot of MMA. I mean, they just didn't have standardized rules at the time. You'd show up at the fight and they'd say, oh yeah, by the way, you can do this. Guy standing over these two. Right at the center of the creation of the unified rules. Might be looking for him to turn and get a Darce choke. And he's stepping over like he wants a Darce. That was all Powell needed to get on top. Look at that. One step ahead. Albazi just able to counter everything Powell's doing. And he's given Powell in this spot on the ground, he's given him so many things to think about already. Seems to really like this more south position. I'll try to trap the head. Half hearted effort. Just back to that side again. A lot of people refer to it as twister side control. It's a side control facing the hips. You don't see a lot in MMA. Marcelo Garcia loved that position in Jiu Jitsu. He's the one that really popularized it. What does it give you opportunities to go for that you wouldn't have if you were on the other side of the arm? Easy mount, easy controlled hips, and a lot of times you set up the Kimura from there. Looks like he's trying to isolate the arm. Once it makes that Kimura position very easy. I'm not committing to it, though. I'm surprised with the record he has, nine wins, nine finishes. He's not pressing any one particular finish. He's 
not doing the jujitsu version of head hunting. He's not looking for the, the finish necessarily. He's content to work his position, wear his man out. had no answer. He's almost waiting for what Albazi is going to do next. Yeah. And hoping whatever that is gives him a chance to escape because he's not making his own exit right now. Hoping he studied for whatever the next question on the test is. Trapping the arm again. Doesn't commit to it. Now going for that Darce. Cranking down on the head. He has not let go of his grip of this fight. I'm sorry, did you just say you win 10-8? 10-8 in round two. Total wipeout. It was rule changes. Huh? This allowed me to say. really express my inner 10 8 And I don't appreciate your constant criticism of who I am on the inside. Some Thank guys you. are tight with their wallets. Time to pay the check. Some guys are tight when it comes to that 10-8. They have trouble making that little slow. I can say it. I just said it. I can say it. I'm comfortable with my 10-8. Okay? I've come to terms with it. You clearly have not, and that's still an issue, and that's okay. I, that's just, I'm thrilled you've come to the other you side. Know, must feel just, good to point out the shortcomings you were, of others. When I was the newbie, good. you were staring at me when I would write the little eights on my things. So what's this guy doing? Now, that's just me hazing you, a new guy, you know? That's all it was. I liked when you used to write down armbar question mark. That was my favorite. Uh, mount question mark. Now it's over. You know all this stuff. Different, different days. We're back to where Jamie, we expected to be. Jamie Powell's going to be writing some of this stuff down. Like, what, what, yeah. what do I do here? Yeah. What exactly. do I do in this? I've never seen this before. Escapes have been virtually non existent. Not shrimping his hips. Once again, that step over that can isolate the arm. It's risky, so he's not going for it. And he can take the back here. He really puts his hips in. He doesn't do it in time. Now, so far, this, this, this fight looks like a free jiu jitsu private <laughs> for Powell. Albazi's so, been passing his guard like it wasn't there. And that way, it's a good deal I mean, to, get, yeah, to you know. get paid. To get. It is. Uh, on that topic, you walk in the building tonight, Voice Grace is doing a signing and taking pictures, and he just, you know, lines around the corner. Yeah. And it's really, you know, when you realize how the early days and early years of the sport were so dark ages, to see the next generation, the worship and the love they have for Hoist is really kind of cool. Yeah. He tamed the Wild West with Jiu Jitsu. It's almost like comparing a modern pilot and the Wright brothers. The first time you did it, it was dangerous. First time you did it, it might get you killed. That's right. Now it's routine. That's what everybody talks about. When you know the old school guys like I do, and, and, and you talk about voice, and they go, man, it took guts to get in there. It took guts. And no one knew what was going to happen. The courage it took for a 170-pound kid at the time to do that is off the chart with no rules. Yeah. These guys know where they're going. You know, the, the, the path has been walked on by a lot of great athletes. It hadn't been at the time. That's what's so impressive about it. They've been ingrained in him and the entire family from the time they could have anything ingrained in their heads that this will win. Right now, it is winning for Albazi. 
And has been from yeah. minute one to minute 15, which we're about to enter. Might be academic if he can get this choke. It's under the chin. This is done. Yeah, he's got the grip now. Al's holding on for dear life. Ooh, he got out. Thought that was over. Hey, Powell gets full marks here yeah. for staying in this fight. But you know, the fans know the code. When you talk about heart and guts, you're losing. And we're showing great heart and guts from Powell. Old comedian Robert Klein used to say that was always the tell when he'd be watching the game with someone. He's a great competitor. <laughs> a, yeah, he competes very well. That's gonna be a ball player. That means he's really upset when he loses. Yeah. And he's talking. He is. Talking about the disrespect the way in, probably. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your three judges at cage side. Your first judge, Sal Diamato, scores the fight 30 to 25. While judges David Torelli and Eric Colon both see the fight in the same 30 to 26, all have it. For the winner by unanimous decision, Amir, the Prince Salwazi.